Hello builders of Bear Collector and today we're going to check out what I just got in the mail as well as what I just sold. So without wasting too much time, what did I get? So I don't want to show you obviously the address. So just this should be good. Got a nice package here, um, a box, a was well package. And inside there's an envelope which doesn't have any address. And um, I did get a Dialga Alt R from um, Astro, a PSA 10. Hopefully, uh, it, it it is in the PSA sleeve. So, um, I mean, I could try to show you, but it, it, it's it's pretty pointless. Uh, we will be able to see as well as I don't see I don't see how much uh, it could good look, good, good look on camera. But I can assure you, it's um, it's a gorgeous car. I'm a big fan of a Dialga. However. This is not, um, I mean, I do separate collecting and investing. I don't uh, collect um, as you, I mean, I've heard people saying, well, technically, if you're investing, you're collecting because you're gathering uh, products, inventory. I think it's nonsense. Uh, collecting means that it's a personal collection. You have this and you like having this, you like the car, you like the product, so on and so forth. Do I like it? Yes. But I'm, I mean, I'm trying to sell it. I will be happy to sell it tomorrow for a profit. I will be happy to sell it today for a profit. I am trying to sell it ASAP for a profit. Call me even investor, evil flipper. If, I mean, if you look at it as a co collection, if you, if you treat this as a hobby, which many people do, I could too, then uh, I don't know if I'm going to hate, could get some hate for this. Uh, people in the Discord, which I recommend you join. It, unless you hate me, told me that uh, as so long as I don't have haters, it means that I'm not being successful. Um, but yeah, that, that aside, um, I I might have a buy it already for this. I bought it on car market from a very good seller who basically after, you know, I bought for it, it thanked me for the purchase. He sent me a pictures of the card and the package. He said, I'm gonna drop it off um, tomorrow's day, I don't remember. So shout out to him. I'll leave his uh, username on car market popping up uh, again, not affiliated, not sponsorship, just he's been a, a great seller. It, it does have some uh, a decent amount of single listed. So, I mean, go check it out if you're in the U and um, yeah, overall great service. So uh, it deserves it. it, it didn't ask for it. Hopefully it's, it was, won't get offended uh, by me trying to help out, uh, but um, we had great experience overall. So again, why did I buy the Dialga? Yeah, because I might have a buyer ready. There's a guy who is always told me to to text me every time I got some uh, sort of a hit, uh, especially from Soul and Shield uh, on hands. And uh, I mean, Altar PSA 10 from uh, Astro, it's a Dialga as well. Uh, so it, you could argue it's one of the most uh, notorious Pokemon in, out there. I think it's gonna be interested. And I did buy for uh, what appears to be a bit less than uh, market price, especially considering um, the market, well, what's going on what's going for, what's selling for in the US, as you can see here. Uh, I've been tracking it down. It's basically around the 150s. Now, I, I do know that there's 13% fees on eBay for Americans. It's a uh, 5% here in Italy. And I think it's also 5% for many other European countries. Um, please let me know if you're from other European countries, if, if it is 5%, I think it is. And it is 5% as long as you sell in, um, in other European countries, it's a bit more if you sell outside the EU, depending on where you sell. If it's UK or if it's US, overseas, Canada, Australia. But for the EU transaction, it's I believe it's five percent. Um, at least for me, if I sell in Italy to other European countries, I don't know from other European countries. So happy you know. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's been selling this past week for one, the one fifty. So I pay less than one fifty euros. So I should be able to sell for around 160, 150. So I'm mailing this, it, it was, I, I could have had a buyer. It was a great price, a bit slowly um, under market price, which by the way, a few days after I got it, some other seller listed one for 149, I think it was. And it got sold in a matter of days. So that means supply, I mean, sorry, demand is there, which is good, obviously. And, um, just basically gives me more confidence in the fact that I should be able to sell it. And uh, again, it's a Dialga, so it needs to cross some uh, checklists. So PSA 10, so it's 
I'd argue it's the best version of the card if, I mean, black labels, depends on what idea you have of black labels, if you think they're legit or not. Then it's a, it's an alt art from Soul and Shield. It's a Diagia, so it's an, I like to call it a notorious Pokemon. Pokemon that people know of. I mean, let's say, I'm looking at higher hands here. You can say Diagia is much more uh, known out in, in the world. Pokemon and uh, even those who are not actively in the Pokemon space than higher hands. I think you could uh, safely say that as well as it's uh, it's a really cheap. I like to buy what's cheap. And uh, the, the raw card I saw in the US is going for $50. In the US, you can find it around 40 euros. Maybe it goes up to 50 once it, you include shipping. So right about the same price. Basically, that's why I bought it. Now, what did I sell? I sold three of these guys. You should see right now as I'm talking the transaction, I obviously erased the address of the guy as well as I didn't show the name, but you do see that it, it is a, a paid transaction. And um, so for 32 euros, bought them at uh, 23 shipped. So I, and I sold three, I still have four. So let's see how it's gonna, it's gonna play out. It's looking good on the European market for, for the crowd. And so we're now basically at above 30 euros. Whereas, I mean, on the US, crazy things are happening over there, guys. Uh, Grider at 60, Altaria got bought out, which is why I also have it on my radar. You can find Altaria here for, uh, as you can see, 17 euros. Whereas it got bought out yesterday on uh, TG Player, I saw. That, just crazy. I mean, even though there's many Europeans as well, Americans in the Discord, we also talk about the American market. So if, if you're not European and you want to join, you're more than welcome. And uh, I mean, just crazy, crazy. Uh, so I'm interested in buying that right now. So spoiler, what I'm, what's on my hot list, you could say, watch list, hot list, however you want. And, uh, you know, I'm building a bit of, you know, getting some cash back from the crowd and sale. Hopefully I will be able to sell the Dialga ASAP. I'm actually trying to also get the podcast so I can sell as a set, as a duo. That also could uh, could be nice, could find more buyers. We'll see. Nevertheless, uh, main point is crazy things in the US market. It's really hot. Uh, the Steelix also has been bought out in the US, which is also, it's already 20 plus, whereas you can still find it for about 11, 12 euros in the EU. And uh, I mean, by looking at uh, supply of the Groudon, which I'll, I'll have the chart pop up, you can see how much it's been selling. And uh, this chart comes from a Discord bot, which is available for free. Just by joining the Discord, you can, you'll see the commands in there. There's a playlist on the channel if you're interested. It tracks basically the supply as well as the price. So you can see if people are buying or not. So you can see kind of what's going on in the market and the European market. And uh, basically, I mean, European market so far, it's been a reflection of the American market. So everything that happened in the US after a couple of days or weeks at most is happening in the EU. So if you're in the EU, it's, you're always assuming some risk when you do these things, because it's obviously risky. It's not risk free, but you're basically mimicking what's happening in the US. So it happened with uh, Raging Bolts. They spiked in the US and they got bought out after a couple of days in the EU. I also made a video about that. And um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. But uh, also a little up, heads up, um, there's gonna be the usual monthly update on all the Soul and Shield and SFE boxes available in the market. Both European, so obviously with European market, it's done by the algo, by the, the, by the bot. So it's all automatic. I don't need to do any much work. But I also, I'm going to manually count the number of boxes in the American market, so TCG player. And uh, I've been doing that ever since November. So we do have, what, six, seven months of data. I do that monthly for what it concerns, you know, the monthly update video. But obviously in the European market, I track that on a daily basis. So stay tuned for that. As well, I have on my to-do list, the top five uh, cards to buy now, which is many people ask me for it. I'm working on it. So those two are the videos that are going to come out ASAP. So if you're interested, obviously subscribe as well. If you know, 
we're almost at 500 subs. Um, I can't wait till we get to 1000. So if you want to help out, join, it would be highly appreciated. I'm trying to put out as much quality content as I can. So we really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and uh, why not join the Discord as well to have a chat. So I think that's going to be it for me today. But the Dialga, Sol the Gradons, looking at the Altaria EX, and then I'll be working on those two videos. So you guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the Discord. Hope to see you soon.